Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. On December 1st, NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden helped kick off a year-long centennial celebration for the agency's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, with several events highlighting the work of the African-American women of Langley's West Computing Unit. These mathematicians performed critical calculations for several historic NASA space missions in the early days of America's space program, and their story is told in the book Hidden Figures by author Margot Lee Shatterly and the upcoming 20th Century Fox movie of the same name. It was also discussed during a NASA education event at Langley featuring Bolden, the film's director Ted Melfi, NASA's chief historian Bill Barry, and Langley electro-optics engineer Julie Williams Bird a modern-day NASA figure using science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM skills to make an impact. Later that evening, a VIP social and screenings of the film took place at nearby Virginia Air and Space Center. The women featured in Hidden Figures, Katherine Johnson, Mary Jackson, and Dorothy Vaughn, known as Human Computers, helped put John Glenn in orbit and helped Neil Armstrong and other astronauts land on the moon. On November 30th, NASA's Cassini spacecraft began its so-called ring-grazing orbits around Saturn. The orbital path will take Cassini high over and under the poles of Saturn and through the unexplored region at the outer edge of the planet's main rings. On many of these passes, Cassini's instruments will attempt to directly sample particles and molecules of faint gases found close to the rings and collect unprecedented views of some of the small moons that orbit in or near the edges of the rings. In April 2017, Cassini will begin the grand finale phase of its mission, passing as close as 1,012 miles above the clouds as it dives repeatedly through the narrow gap between Saturn and its rings before making its mission-ending plunge into the planet's atmosphere on September 15th. During a November 30th news conference at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Expedition 51, the next crew headed to the International Space Station, previewed its upcoming mission. NASA astronaut Jack Fisher and cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin of the Russian space agency Roscosmos are targeted to launch to the station in late March from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan to join other members of Expedition 51 already on board the orbiting laboratory. Fisher and Yurchikin will take part in approximately 250 research investigations during their planned five-month stay on board the space station. A Russian Progress cargo spacecraft launched on time December 1st from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, but experienced an anomaly about six and a half minutes into its flight to the International Space Station and was lost. The Progress was not carrying any supplies critical for the United States operating segment of the station. The crew aboard the space station, including NASA's Shane Kimbrough and Peggy Whitson, are safe, and both the Russian and U.S. segments of the station continue to operate normally with onboard supplies at good levels. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.